Hello and welcome to this quick capsule video to show you around the brand new dashboard, which is now being rolled out for capsule users. And I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to pop in to and I'm going to click on the dashboard and I'm going to show you that it has changed quite a lot. If you haven't logged in for a while or if you're new to capsule, and you will see a different screen than perhaps you've seen on some uh, previous versions or on some of the collateral um, from earlier videos. So what we now have is a brand new summary screen. So we've got the date and good afternoon, Julia, and we're in the summary here with some recent activity. If you're a current user of Capsule, then this will be familiar to you. You can see that it's a scrolling um, chronological history of what's been going on in the account. But if you click on your summary, this is the new bit. So what we have here is the ability that we have activities, we have recently viewed, we have sales pipeline, and we have projects. And these four areas can be changed you wish so you can pick up recently viewed and pop it to the top you can either even change um the calendar and tasks over on the left hand side and um when you integrate your calendar with capsule then that any events that are popping up will be seen here and then below we have the, the list of tasks that are coming in from the whole system but the exciting part is the uh, well that's exciting too obviously but this uh, is the part that i wanted to focus on so we've got the recently viewed. We can get into any of those really uh, efficiently and speedily. And then we have activities. These are activities this week. So there's 18 and we can click on the arrow and it lists the activities that have happened. And um, so you can see that there's uh, three tasks completed there, big notes, a call, and you can drill down into the contacts they relate to. You can even export that as a CSV. You've got tasks that are due to be completed this week. So that's, um, we can see the task categories there. So there's uh, five tasks, a couple of tasks have been deleted and you can actually pop in to the opportunity or the organization that these tasks relate to. And you can actually change how um, you see those or just first news, and you can even draw down here into particular task categories, which is absolutely fantastic. So we can press close. Now, if you want to add task categories or if you want to add activity types to your system, so you're making more use of this, pop over to your name, go to account settings, and then go to task categories or activity types here. So activity types relate to things like call, meeting, notes. They're given to us anyway. I like to add things like LinkedIn, message, WhatsApp, and Zoom, or Teams you could add. And then task categories, absolutely brilliant task categories. You can color code them and you can add things that relate to activities on your customer journey or things or tasks that relate to running your business. So contact nurture is a nice one to add. You might have initial inquiry, partner work, project stage, creation. You can add many task categories and that these will now pop up um, on this dashboard. So not only will you see them on the task on the left-hand side and within calendar and tasks, but you will now see them on the dashboard. And all the tasks are particularly powerful when they're incorporated in tracks, which we can have on opportunities and on projects also see emails that have been sent this week so another good reason to integrate your email and if you haven't currently integrated your email with uh capsule then do pop over uh to mailbox connections in account settings and integrate your email up until very recently we could only integrate uh microsoft 365 or google we can now integrate many different email providers so if you were unable to integrate uh, because you weren't using one of those two, then you can now integrate your email, which is an absolute game changer. And do check out my other short help video on email integrations, templates, and AI content assistant, because it covers uh, email integrations and all the exciting things you can do when you have integrated your email. So next, we have sales pipeline. We could change that around if we wanted to. If we were have big focus on sales, we wanted that above activity, so we can change that. So what we see here 
is the sales pipeline. We see the opportunities that are currently open. We see the opportunities that have been won so far this week. And I am recording this on a Monday and it is a demonstration version. But if this was my um, own business, and I'd be slightly concerned with that. Um, and we can see the opportunities that are stale. So within milestones, we can say how many days we deem um, it until an opportunity is stale. So do pop over, look at uh, account settings, pipeline, and then the individual milestones and have a look at that. Now, we see the stale opportunities here, but we also see the stale opportunities within the pipeline. They are shown to us with an orange bar on the side when we look at uh, the pipeline view. And we can see that there's been no contact on two opportunities, and we can draw down into those two. We can see that six opportunities are overdue, which means they've gone past their expected close date. We can see that no opportunities are due to close this week. Now, if you are on the entry point plan, you will have one pipeline. If you're on any of the other plans, then you will have the ability to have multiple pipelines. So you can drill down here into the different pipelines that you have. You might have a partner program pipeline, for example, and you can drill down and then it changes the, um, the view or we can go back to sales pipeline. And then below that, we have projects. So this system has 16 open projects. No projects are due to close this week and three have gone past their close dates. So we might want to go pop in there and see what's going on with those um, three projects that are on this demonstration version to show you how that would look, because there's one there from 2022. So we'd press, but you can go into those individual projects as well to have a good look at those and see what's going on. So hopefully you will have the new dashboard by now. If you haven't, then it is being rolled out. And um, I hope you enjoy it. I think it's an absolute game changer. And do let me know if you have any questions relating to Capsule and do pop over and have a look at my other help videos as well. Thank you for watching.